start this morning still tracking some leftover showers that are popping up, especially right now along parts of 295 heading in towards the Providence area. So the rain still continuing. That's also the case over parts of Cape Cod where there's still some lightning strikes this morning, but wanted to focus in on this area of 295 and again approaching 295 into Providence. This is not the sort of strong storms that we saw earlier this morning, but still forcing you to turn the windshield wipers on if you're in Providence and Fall River again this morning uh, looking at our uh, track here of where this is going to be heading and again we're going to keep an eye on it nothing severe at the moment but it is pushing to the south and east and so heading into Cranston by about 730 and we're going to continue to see it moving down 95 another shower possibly returning to New Bedford here before the morning commute is over. So this has it arriving in New Bedford by about 20 to 8 this morning and you can see those showers and storms off of southeastern Massachusetts as well. So we're going to keep the threat tracker elevated until about nine o'clock this morning when that shower thunderstorm threat moves away and we're back to dry conditions for the rest of today and into your Wednesday. Here's how it looks at Narragansett right now, kind of a murky gray misty start and that's similar in Newport. I am seeing breaks in the cloud cover already over parts of northern Connecticut and western Massachusetts and that trend's going to reach southern New England, southeastern New England as we hit the end of the morning. So we'll get back to sunshine. You just got to be patient this morning. Mid 60s in Smithfield right now, Providence has been hovering around 65 westerly at 64 right now 66 in Tiverton. The temperature coming in in the middle 60s in Warwick and looking at Smithfield right now Providence both in the mid 60s. So it's going to be another breezy afternoon some gusts up to 20 knots from the west southwest. We've got a cold front coming through and kind of slow down as it makes its way towards our coastline and that's why we're still keeping that additional shower in the forecast here for the next few hours of the morning. Future cast shows that risk diminishing by the end of the morning. Dry skies for the afternoon and evening. Some extra clouds for the first part of the night tonight, especially along the coastline. Then that pushes further away and we're going to be dry and to be mostly sunny for the morning. This morning's commute, those early storms, puddles, watch for that as you head out. May have to turn your wipers on, but it turns into a nice summer day. Mid 70s by 10 a.m., still some leftover clouds. It looks mostly sunny by 3 o'clock. Warm and breezy with those west southwest winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, and the humidity dropping. Here's another look at that beach future cast. We'll be in the mid 70s at the shore, a low and mid 80s inland. We're going to see improving conditions on the bay for today. The visibility has been poor so far this morning, but improving high tide just before 9 a.m. Down to about 60 overnight tonight. Again, some extra clouds for at least part of the night. A high near 82 on Wednesday, looking mainly sunny and dry through the day on Wednesday. Then heads up for Thursday. Uh, we are looking at potentially a rainy day on Thursday, and unlike this morning where we get this one batch of rain or thunder that moves through and then that's it, this could be lasting most of the day Thursday. We do need the rainfall. You can see about a half an inch to an inch of rain with showers and possibly some embedded thunderstorms. It looks cooler and humid with that coming through. All indications are this is in and out. By Friday, we're back to sunshine. Temperatures near 80, and we're headed into the low and mid 80s over the weekend. Remember, you can get your